Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Normally, you see us putting stuff into jars. Today, we're gonna be taking stuff out of jars. Hang on till after the break, I'll show you what we're cooking. Alright guys, just kind of a short video today. We're going to get in here, get into Tina's pantry, and uh, grab us a couple things and uh, make us a quick dinner. We're going to have us uh, sauerkraut and brats, and uh, we're just going to throw it together in the crock pot, let it stew for a couple hours, but we'll take you around and show it to you. It won't take long, and uh, it's a pretty good meal. Alright guys, Tina and I are getting ready to put some dinner together, and we thought you guys might enjoy seeing us do a little cooking from some of the stuff we can. These are some uh, carrots that we canned up last year. These aren't this year's carrots. We're still uh, working our way through last year's, but uh, we'll go ahead and we're just gonna do a quickie crock pot recipe for you. We're just gonna end up mostly just warming stuff up since a lot of the stuff's already pre-cooked. But we got some sauerkraut here. This is a sauerkraut that we canned ourselves. But we're going to go ahead and get that open too. Get that thrown in the crock pot. we will make for some really good brats and kraut here in a little bit. But we thought maybe you guys would enjoy seeing the seeing how we cook here using some of our some of our canned food. But got that in there. We got these uh we got some old red potatoes we need to use up. They had a couple little bad spots on them. We got them trimmed up, but now we'll just cut and chunk those and get them over in the crock pot. Should give us a pretty hearty little meal there. But we don't want everything, a lot of the canned stuff, some of the, like the carrots are really soft, so we don't want to over stir them, but the potatoes will still be a little, little firm, so that'll give us a you know some texture to the meal but we'll go ahead and let tina get these uh chopped up get them in the crock pot and we'll get that crock pot up on high then we got a stack of brats over there we're going to work on so we'll bring you back when we're ready to do that all right guys we got the crock pot up on high and we're going to add in about a quart of water just to keep everything from sticking so we don't have to stir it so much and break up the carrots but uh, we're going to go ahead and let that start warming up while Tina takes care of these brats. All right, guys, we're going to jump in here. Tina's going to start working on this pile of brats. She likes them cut at an angle. They taste better, apparently. They're Wait, cool. They're cool? Yeah. All right. And we're going to cut them at an angle, and uh, we're going to get them over here on the stove and get, them, get a fry on them so we got a light brown on them, and then we'll get them in the crock pot. But I'll bring you back when we get over to the stove. All right, guys, we're getting these uh, brats all browned up here. And we'll go ahead and finish finish getting the brown on them, and then we'll get them over here and get them stirred into the crock pot, and we'll bring you guys back. But I uh, wanted to show you, you just uh, you take your brats and throw them in a pan and get you a good brown on them. That helps uh, get some good flavor in them. And uh, then we'll take that over and uh, put them in the crock pot, and we'll let it cook for, oh, I don't know, an hour or so. And it let those potatoes soften up there already. The crock pot's already on cooking, so um, we'll get these finished up. We'll bring you back, show you what it looks like in the pot. All right, guys, Tina's got the brats all browned up. We're gonna move them over here to the crock pot. But uh, they're really good. I don't know if you guys like brats and kraut, but uh, it's a really, really good dish. I do. You do? You say you do? Say hi to everybody. I, <laughs> but we're going to go ahead we'll get it in here we'll give everything a quick stir and uh, get the lid back on it and we'll come back and check on it in about an hour and we'll bring you along all right guys i wanted to get in here and give you a look it's been about an hour and a half and uh, everything's looking good i got everything done we're going to go ahead and dish this up and then uh, probably end up uh Throwing a little mustard over the top. I don't know how you like your brats and kraut, but uh, I like them dressed in a little bit of mustard. But we wanted to bring you in, 
and uh, show you a little meal here on the homestead. So we're glad to have you guys here. I'll be back in a minute to talk to you, but uh, that's cooking with your canned food. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. It looked good to me, but uh, we're going to we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Just a short video today. We wanted to show you a little bit of cooking and kind of some of the things we make with some of the stuff you see us put in the jars. So if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. If you would leave us a comment down below, tell us what you thought of it or if you like brats and kraut. But uh, if you like the content here on the channel, we hope you'll subscribe. There's a subscribe button down below. Next to it is a bell. If you ring that bell, YouTube will show you, send you notifications whenever we release a new video, which is a great way to keep up with the channel. I got a couple quick videos I want to tell you about. We've got a, recently, we made one for the guys. We put together a, a ghillie suit. If you haven't seen that one, I'm going to put a link up above. It's a, it's a suit I made myself for uh, going out hunting. I kind of kind of made it for a specific hunt, and it's a long story, but it's taken me, <laughs> taken me years to get it this far, but um, it's been to the field several times if you enjoy things like that. And uh, we also have a uh, canning video out on uh, carrot cake jam. It's one of our favorite jams. If you haven't tried that one, I'll put a link up above for it too. But uh, that's, a, that's a really great jam. It's one of our favorites from the jams and jellies. And if you've never had it before and you want to try making it, I'll give you a big hint. If you take that jam and warm it up and dump it over some vanilla ice cream, you might have you a religious experience, but uh, it is really good. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go. But uh, like I said, if you would hit that thumbs up, leave us a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one.